Hey friends, today we're going to read If Animals Built Your House. Hmm, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? All right, I'm going to share my screen. If Animals Built Your House. If animals built your house, would you want to live in it? If a tree squirrel built your house, no one could ever sneak up on you. Your house might look like a jumble of leaves, but it's really a tightly woven waterproof ball. No hard walls here. This furry builder used its body like a rolling pin to make a soft, cozy room. Just watch out for that first step out your front door. If mound termites built your house, you'd always have friends to hang out with. Two million of them. You'd live in the tallest structure built by animals, created by tiny architects no bigger than a grain of rice. Your tower would be made of dried mud, saliva, and poop, sturdy enough to last for 100 years. Don't get lost in the dark tunnels. I don't think I'd want a house made of saliva from your mouth and poop. No, <laughs> that wouldn't be my house. If a red grouper built your house, you'd never have to take off your scuba gear. This hard worker excavated sand to get down to hard rock on the ocean floor, but the grouper didn't need a digger and dump truck to do the job. It used its mouth. It not only built a house for you, but for your neighbors too. How do you feel about sharing your room with a lobster? <laughs> if a colony of honeybees built your house, you could scoop gobs of honey off your walls. You'd have to squeeze into a super tiny room tightly packed next to thousands of others. It could get deadly hot inside, but don't worry, worker bees would spend hours fanning their wings at 230 beats per second to cool it down. If a chimpanzee built your house, you'd snooze high in the rainforest canopy as leopards prowled below. Chimps get lots of practice weaving comfortable nests. They build a new one every night. That's 365 new nests every year. Once tucked into a cup of branches and leaves, you'd never have to worry about falling out. But you better bring an umbrella. Your house doesn't have a roof. If a foam nest tree frog built your house, you'd be able to fish from your front door. Your female builder would have produced a sticky liquid from her body and whipped it into foam with her legs to create your bubbly home. No jumping up and down in this house. In seven days, the floor will disintegrate and you'd fall into the pond below. Can you swim? That's not very long to have a house, is it? Seven days. If a satin boa bird built your house, you'd have the fanciest place on the block. This bird is the ultimate artist of the animal kingdom. Hope you like blue. It's the satin bower bird's favorite color. You'd have blue stones, seeds, bottle caps, and even blue straws decorating your yard. Twig walls would be coated with special paint, which is chewed up berries mixed with bird saliva. If a polar bear built your house, you'd live under a dazzling display of northern lights. Using her huge paws, your Arctic architect would have carved you a snug cave in the deep snow. Hope you like to take long naps, because once you crawl in, you'll be there for the entire winter. Better bring your mittens so you can dig your way out in the spring. If alligators built your house, you'd have two styles to choose from. Is relaxing in a hot sauna your idea of fun? Then you might want a female alligator to build your house. A nest of rotting plants is always hot and wet. Or maybe you'd prefer to submerge yourself in a gator hole, an underwater tunnel made by a male alligator. Take your pick. If a pack rat built your house, you'd never have to clean your room. Pack rats are always a mess. You'd live in a tangle of sticks, rocks, and plants cemented together with pack rat pee. Goodness. You'd never know what your living room would look like because these hoarders would add anything, something new each night. Everything from junk to jewelry. Shiny is best. Hmm. I like shiny things, but not that much. If beavers built your house, you'd be living inside an island in the middle of a pond. Beavers are more than just builders. They're environmental engineers. Before they build your stick home, they first had to, had to make a pond. Now that's what you call waterfront property. Don't forget where to find the secret underwater entrance. So what kind of house would you build? There's some other different kinds of houses. I kind of like the tree house. 
And there's all the different animals and the types of houses that they build. What do you think? There were some pretty neat houses, weren't they? And they use whatever they have, right? Because animals can't just go to the, the store and buy some wood or some bricks, right? So they had to use things like saliva and, and pee and all kinds of things. Yeah, <laughs> that's an interesting way to build a house, but it works for the animals. All right. I hope you have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.